couple months ago, I worked on a project called the Tweetawatt. It's a project where I took this kilowatt meter, say uh, off the shelf $20 power meter from Home Depot, and I upgraded it to include a wireless XB modem. This is a Zigbee uh, wireless transceiver. And that project works pretty well, but one of the questions people keep asking is, well, by default, you know, you show that you need to have a computer on. The computer receives that data and sends it to Twitter. That's the tweeting part. But, you know, isn't that kind of silly to have a power meter that's on all the time? Like, wouldn't it be good if it was a low power system? So I'm going to show how I actually do this at home, which is I got this um, $40 Asus wireless router, and this is the wireless router we use um, in the apartment. And I've upgraded it by adding a XP modem, just like the one in the kilowatt. And this one has a nice big antenna so it can, you know, receive transmissions from all over the place. And these indicator LEDs show when it's on and receiving data. And basically I just um, upgraded this uh, router with OpenWRT uh, according to uh, MightyOM's excellent instructions. And then just soldered in a little header and it goes straight into the XB. Um, this talk serial, and it's a serial port, so it was pretty easy to get it running. And then I just run Python on the router and so it's acting as an access point, and at the same time, it's also grabbing this Zigbee data, parsing it, and then sending it over the Wi-Fi connection to my Twitter account. So people are going to ask, uh, doesn't does this interfere with the other um, wi with the Wi-Fi signal at all? Um, nope. There, uh, you know, the uh, 2.4 gigahertz band is actually pretty wide, and there's plenty of space for Zigbee and Wi-Fi, and um, you know, there's tons of stuff that talks at 2.4 gigahertz. But this definitely works just fine. Also, both of these are pretty smart protocols and they hop around a little bit, you know, if they were interfering and um, there's lots of retransmissions. So, certainly had no problems before. Um, you know, it is kind of funny that there's two 2.4 gigahertz antennas on here, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's perfectly fine. This is Zigbee and this is Wi-Fi. And if someone wants to see this live on Twitter, where do they go? They go to uh, twitter.com slash tweetawatt. And if they want to get all the information for this project? This project is based off of Mightyom's instructions, so you should go to, I think, mightyom.com and look at his uh, Wi-Fi radio and basically follow all the instructions and then before you get to the radio part, uh, install Python instead and then actually the code just runs as is um, on the router. The same code that runs on the Windows or Linux or Mac computer, uh, it just basically no edits goes straight to uh, this sort of Linux computer. Yeah, and if you don't want to build this project, you can still get this router and turn it into a Wi-Fi radio, uh, which is a really cool project that Mindyome did too. Okay, well great. Say goodbye. Bye.